Yes, guys, welcome back to Hair System DIY. I'm your host, Adam. Today, we're going to be talking about whether full skin hair systems can handle the summer heat. Now, this was filmed a week ago when the weather in the UK was super, super hot. I know it's not that right now, but I felt it was appropriate to make it when it was super humid and I had some other videos scheduled in the meantime, but this is going to be very much focused on full skin hair systems, in particular the one I'm wearing right now, and whether it's possible to handle the summer heat, like maybe a lace could or even an ultra thin could. So we're going to be looking at that, but here's a quick message from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor, guys, is Livivid. You can find them at livividhair.com. You can get a 15% discount code on any stock hair system or accessories that I've negotiated with them just for you guys. It's Adam15. All the information is in the description box below this video if you want high quality hair systems with good shipping times and top customer service, consider Levivid. Now guys, a quick bit of housekeeping before we dive into this really, really important topic. And that is if you're looking for some one-on-one -on -one support, I do offer it via Zoom. You can find out the information in the description box below. It's $75 for a session with me if you're interested. We're getting a lot of interest in this at the moment and I'm seeing a heck of a lot of people. So I'm looking at actually implementing a booking system, an online booking system where you can book online, you can pay, you can select a slot and I'll meet you in the Zoom session. It's probably going to be the easiest way moving forward. If you'd like that, if you'd find that easier, let me know in the comments box below. If you're enjoying my content, you want to help this channel grow, help it reach more people, this free advice, please do give it a subscribe. I can make more videos. The bigger the channel gets, it really, really helps guys. So I've decided I decided to make this video because last summer I had a very different experience. I had exactly the same hair system, but I didn't get as many problems with it in terms of the heat and in terms of other side effects of the heat, including itching and more regular rebonds. So let me give you a bit of context. Last summer is what I'd call a bog standard average summer in the UK. It was usually between the sort of 15 centigrade to like 25 centigrade heat, which I think equates to between 60 to 70 Fahrenheit. That's what a usual British summer is like. This summer, however, since I've been back in London, it's been roasting. It's been about 90 Fahrenheit every single day. So we're doing like 32 centigrade. It's really hot. It's really humid. And I'm struggling a lot more with this system. Now this is a 0.08 to a one millimeter system. It's a full skin base, but I've noticed that I'm feeling the heat on my head. I am sweating more and I'm having to rebond more. And on top of that as well, I'm feeling it's more itchy and it all has to do with the temperature and the environment right now. So usually last summer when I had this system, I would do a rebond maybe, I'd only need to do one, maybe one every one to two weeks. On top of that, I wouldn't really get any lifts. I wasn't sweating much. This summer, these last two weeks, I've been having to do a rebond every five days. That's way more regular than usual. I'm finding I'm getting lifts. I'm finding it's getting super itchy and I can really feel it on my head. So it's given me a slightly different perspective on the thicker full skin hair systems in summer. And now I really understand where people who watch my videos who say, I'm in a really hot climate, be it Miami or be it Brazil or be it India or somewhere like that, you live in a hot climate and you struggle with the full, the thicker full skin hair systems. And I can totally understand why now it can become really uncomfortable. And I'm really starting to see now why people tend to prefer lace if they live in hot countries. It makes a lot of sense. It doesn't hold a lot of heat. It's breathable. You can sweat with it. The sweat can come straight through the, the actual lace base itself and it's less itchy. And I would like to say the same about ultra thin skins. I think they tolerate heat really, really well. So what do I mean by ultra thin skins? I mean like, for instance, the Mirage, the Eros. These are both ultra thin skins. One I wore when I was on my honeymoon in the Caribbean and it felt fine. It felt like a lace. It felt breathable even though it wasn't. I didn't get any heat trapped under there. It just felt absolutely fine. I could have worn it longer if I wanted to. However, going thicker than the sort of 0.04, to the 0 0.06 in that kind of heat this is when i'm struggling with this kind of hair system it just feels very hot it's very itchy and i haven't really found a method that can allow me to wear it for longer than a week without there being a lift or something like that i will make some suggestions though a bit later in the video but i suppose the most important 
message I wanted to put across in this particular video is that now I really understand what it's like to be in significant heat, like significant humid heat, I can categorically say that lace bases, so Swiss or French or ultra thin skins are much better suited. So if you come from a climate or if you live in a climate like that, those are the three types of bases I would recommend. However, if you want to pursue a thicker poly like this one, which is totally understandable because they last longer and it can save you money, I'd like to offer a few tips to you guys. So the first one is, personally, based on the experience I've had in the last few weeks, I would use glue over tape. Why do you say that, Ad? Well, I found that the tape tends to get more itchy on the scalp when it's super humid it can also get really messy. Same to an extent can happen with glue, but not as much from what I've found. The cleanup can be a real challenge with tape because the tape just gets quite gloopy and it can take a lot longer to get off. Number two, if you want to pursue a hair system like this in a hot climate, is be prepared to do maintenance more often. And by more often, I mean probably once every five to seven days. If you can manage longer than that, Excellent. Important to bear in mind, I do have a more sensitive scalp and that might be contributing to why I need to do these rebonds more often. But yeah, do bear that in mind. And number three, and this should apply to anyone who's wearing a system in a, a humid climate, is the first 12 to 18 hours are really important in terms of not sweating too much after your rebond because otherwise the glue won't bond properly, the tape probably won't bond as well as it can. Try and stick to a sort of well-ventilated room. I've got a fan on today. Have a fan in there. If you've got air con, most people who live in very humid countries do have some form of air con, so utilize it. Utilize it for those first 12 to 18 hours. So in summary, if the question was, can a full thin skin tolerate the hottest heat in summer? Well, yes it can. The ultra thin skin definitely can. However, make sure that if you're going thicker than a 0.06, that you take into account the points that I've made. So people who live in humid climates, I wanna hear from you. How do you deal with this? What bases do you prefer? What bases do you find work best in the climate that you live in? Let me know in the comments box below. And lastly, I'm getting so many bookings from people who want to speak to me one-on-one, -on -one, which is great, and I love that. Would you prefer if I got a software booking system to make it easier for you guys to book one-on-one -on -one with me to have a chat? Let me know in the comments box below, and I will endeavor to get that sorted for you. Take care, and I'll speak to you very soon, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.